a pike it needs a certain amount and of course you never know how bad the winter is going to be. How, how soon the snow is going to melt off in the spring, how much stores of food you're going to need before the plants actually start growing. So um, pikas would on average store a little more than they need. A pika will store about, um, I would say, uh, a cubic meter or a cubic yard of loose vegetation under the rocks. So in places where pikas have a lot of good snow cover over the winter and it doesn't get too cold, they seem to be able to just eat whatever's available. Low, very low quality food like grasses, they can make a hay pile of grass and still survive the winter. But in really stressful conditions like the winters up here on Niwot Ridge, they seem to need to have very high nitrogen food, high quality food in order to make it through the winter, probably because they have higher caloric demands. And so they collect mainly flowers. So there's a fun flower up here called Alpine Avens. It's in the rose family. It's a yellow rose, very pretty. And they collect that. Well, it's full of all kinds of nasty, toxic chemicals, but it preserves well in hay piles over the winter and it maintains its nitrogen levels a little better than grass and pikas probably need that in order to survive the winters up here. Um, there's been a great study that showed that they did need it to survive the winters up here. And what's really interesting here is that the ratio of alpine avens to grass is declining. We're seeing less and less alpine avens up here and, and yet it's something that, that someone showed pikas need. So it's possible that they're, that's one more uh, factor that's leading to low survival up here. I think their favorite flower is fireweed. It's, um, it's got a lot of nutrients in it and not a lot of those nasty toxic chemicals I was telling you about. <laughs> they, they seem to like the fireweed. When, when I see a pika go 100 meters from its hay pile to hay, it's for fireweed. <laughs>